Hey everybody, Dan Strong here with Excel VBA is fun. This week we had a question, how do you take a text box and only allow it to do numbers and also a decimal place and also the negative sign, but nothing else. So let's dive into that. If I hit Alt F11, I open up this Visual Basic Editor. I've already created a user form. If you've never done that before, just click the drop down and click on User Form. But we've already got one here. I'm going to go ahead and go to my toolbox, click on Text Box, and simply allow one text box to sit here. So it's called Text Box 1. You can see that in the Properties window. All we're going to do is we're going to change an event. Now we could do one of several different things. We could use a change event, which triggers every time you hit the backspace, any of the character keys on the keyboard. We could also use a key press or a key ASCII or a key ASCII event. So let's double click on this text box and see what events are available to us. So the default one is a change. Let's see what other events are in here that we could try. I'm going to try the key down event because the key code is going to represent a specific key that was pressed on the keyboard. And this also relates to the VBA keys so we can actually use one of those in the reference library so for example I'm gonna say if key code that's the thing that was pressed that triggered this event if the key code right there equals and let's do VBA dot key code constants dot and we can see a list of different keys that we might want to trigger so for example VB key 0 then end if Okay, so that's one thing that we could do. Now, if we did a case statement, we could do key 0 all the way to key 9. So that would cover the numerals, and then we would just have to do things for the decimal and the backspace and the up, down, left, right arrows, whatever we wanted to allow. So let's do a case statement instead of an if then. That way we'll be able to say this to the number 9 in one foul swoop. So let's say we're going to do a select case and we're going to double check what is the key code so the key code that they used and then we're going to go to the bottom here and we're going to say end select so we don't forget to do that then the next thing we want to do is we want to do in the case of let's do that VBA dot key code constants dot VB key zero so anything from zero to and we can actually omit that if we didn't want to use the IntelliSense we could just say VB key 9 so in the case that it's 0 to 9 then we're going to allow that what other things are we going to allow so let's do a comma we're also going to allow VBA dot key code constants dot let's take a look through some of these options here so we're going to use the VB key subtract that is the essentially the minus key and if you want to do the the plus and anything else let's just keep it at that and uh, we want the decimal place as well so now that we know what that is we can take away all this extra stuff and just use VB key subtract and we'll use VB key I'm gonna hit control space bar to get my constants list VB key let's do VB key decimal so now we have the subtract and the decimal and we have 0 to 9 in fact we can get rid of this constant thing now that we've already used it for our purposes so in the case that it's 0 to 9 or the subtract key or the decimal key will allow it in the very most basic sense will allow it case else so if it's anything other than those keys that we're allowing then we're going to disallow so nope and the only way to really cancel out the key code is to simply say key code equals false that means that it's nullified whatever keystroke they just did is not going to be allowed and it's not going to be placed onto the actual text box and we have our in select so now let's try this out uh, so we're going to open up our user form by just running it with the F5 key or clicking the run button. So here we have this text box. If I hit the number 1, it allows it the number 1 from the thing above my QWERTY keyboard, but not the number pad 1. So we would actually have to specify that. Here's these. They're all seeming to be working. You know what isn't working is the backspace key. Uh, let's try the decimal place. So the decimal place is on the number pad, and it looks like the key code for the period that is right above the space bar and the alt key is different. I'm going to do the subtract key on the number pad. Now I'm going to do 
the one right by the equal sign. So that one is different. So they all have different unique names. So we'd probably have to double up on this. But we can very, very granularly specify what we need. So I'm going to do VB key num, and actually I'm going to do the number pad 0 to 9. I just hit control space bar to get this to open up. So I'm going to say VB key num pad to VB key num control space, and I'm going to go to number pad 9. So we have 0 to 9 on the number pad now. Since we have the subtract, probably the other one is called a hyphen, even though I think it's the same character. I think just different position on the keyboard. So let's see if hyphen is a thing. So what I'm going to do in order to find a specific key code, since I can't find it very easily, the minus sign that's right by the equal sign and right next to the zero above the QWERTY keyboard, what I'm going to do now is actually just debug.print, or I could set a breakpoint right here. So what I'm going to do is on our user form, I'm going to go ahead and run it, and then I'm going to press the one I want. I'm going to press that minus key. I want to see what the key code is, 189. Okay, quick Google search reveals that this is the underscore key code. 189 is the underscore, same as the minus. So you really need to actually capture whether shift is 1, meaning the shift was held down to press the underscore, or if shift was 0, then it's fine. It's actually the minus sign. So in that case, uh, we're not going to get that complicated, but if you wanted to say you know you don't want the underscore even though you do want to include the number 189 189 we're also including 189 is the underscore like I said but this is only if the shift is equal to 1 and we're not even considering whether shift is equal to 1 so I could say if shift is equal to 1 meaning they were pressing the shift key then we're going to completely ignore everything because we don't need anything that requires the shift key so I'm going to say if shift is being pressed, if shift is 1, then exit the sub and do not even consider that particular keystroke. In fact, we probably need to go ahead and say one extra line that says key code equals false as well as we're going to exit the sub and not continue on with our code. So let's go ahead and run it now. So let's try the minus sign. Whoops, I still have a breakpoint there. I'm testing. Yeah, so it allowed uh, the minus sign... Let me do the other minus sign. Yep, so it's allowing the minus sign. It's allowing 1, 2, 3, dot, 2, 5. But if I pr press the plus sign, if I press the enter key, if I press the minus or the, I mean the backspace key, none of those are allowed at this time. And the same thing goes if you wanted to add anything else, you could just simply add that to the allowable list. So VB key, I think it's return. Yeah, there it is. So the enter key or VB key, I'm saying backspace. So let's try the backspace now. One, two, three, backspace. Good, it's allowing that. If you want to download a copy of this workbook, be sure and click on the link above or click on the link in the video description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our online course library at excelvbaisfun.com where you can automate everything. We'll see you next time.